Ooh, it's nice gold color. So now it's time to put the other ingredients. We need to see if the pizza is uh, soft and crunchy. Shh. Ooh. First thing to do here is uh, to put, we have to put the polish inside the, our thermal mixer while you prepare the tomato sauce. I love this uh, sauce. You pinch it under, pinch it under. Watch this step. Your hands like this, then put the dough on top, take off the flour, then one hand under, Oh, it's nice and hot, almost. From Maestro Vitio Jacopelli, welcome back to my channel. First of all, thank you so much for being here and dedicating your time to watch my videos. So thank you so much. This channel is for pizza lovers. So you are in the right place if you love pizza. Guys, first let's start directly. I wanna show you something. Look, this perfect pizza dough. So, <laughs> voila, like the title say, today I'm going to show you how to make the pizza dough with the Thermomix. Amazing robot, guys. If you have the Thermomix at home, this is the right video for you. And if you know someone that have this robot, this robot, go ahead and share with them, share the link and send it to them. So here we go, so let's start to see how to make Let's start in deep this video and let me show you how to make the perfect pizza dough with Thermomix at home 100%. When I say 100% at home, it's 100% at home. Cook in a home oven. So make sure you watch until the end to see this beast of pizza in a simple way and easy. Enjoy and let's see the pizza dough recipe. Welcome to the best pizza channel. Okay, first step to do here, here is to get the Polish, our magical yeast. It's very easy and very simple to make. 300 milligrams of water, 300 grams of flour, three grams of dry yeast, five grams of honey, and you mix everything, one hour at room temperature, and then 16 to 24 hours in the fridge. Trust me guys, after making this will change your game and your pizza texture. So let's go ahead and let's make, and uh, this is how to make the dough. Okay, so first step to do here is, is uh, also the, the good thing of thermal mixer is that you can, you can scale the things here because this is uh, with the scale too. And guys, this video is not sponsored from uh, uh, from thermal mixer. First thing to do here is to put, we have to put the polish inside the, our thermal mixer. Voila. Okay. Set up the time at uh, one minute. And then we have to dump the flour. So here we need uh, 440 grams of flour, zero, zero flour, it's fine. Then we put the salt, 20 grams of salt. Uh, at the end, we're gonna add the liquid. So just put the cup on top and then click on this, the speed, and we put a number five for one minute. Voila. Now we wait, there we go, and now let's go ahead and uh, let's add the olive oil, 20 grams of uh, olive oil. We add half amount of the water. Here we have uh, 200 milligrams of water, 300 milliliters of water. So let's add F, and let's say F for later. Now put back the cup. Now, very important that you put your, this spiga. See vede? We put, click on the spiga. Now set up the time at uh, four minutes. Not too much guys. Otherwise it's gonna burn the gluten. So four minutes and then click on this. And then with this, voila. 
click OK, and you'll see it's gonna start to mix the dough. It's gonna start to make the, it's gonna start to make the dough, little by little. It's gonna go ahead and stop. It's gonna start to create the gluten in these four minutes. So we wait. When it gets one minute done, we're gonna go ahead and uh, add the rest of the water. Voila, one minute is done, and now let's go ahead and let's add the water little by little in the dough. Wait, little by little. Guys, this step is very important. It will create the gluten very nice and smooth. Voila. We put all the water. Now we just wait two minutes and 30 seconds and then the dough is gonna be ready. So I'll see you in two, in two minutes and 20 seconds now. Voila, like you can see in, the, in uh, four minutes we have the dough already made that's amazing let's see now we're gonna check out stop everything voila fantastic the dough it's ready so now we're gonna let's move everything first thing here to do is we put a little bit of olive oil in your hands like always I do now gently go ahead and take out the dough. Like you can see, it's nice and strong. Let's use a spatula because this is not the dough machine, so you can cut your hands. It's always safer to use the, the spatula. The dough will uh, uh, look like, uh, will, uh, the dough seems now a little bit too sticky. So now watch this. Eh? The goal here is to make the gluten a little bit more uh, uh, smooth. So what we do here is we take the dough just like that from the center and we try to create the ball. So do this until the dough is nice and smooth. Because uh, here today we are making the dough, uh, we are making the pizzas at our home. So you don't want to, you want to have the you want to keep the dough high hydration, and this is uh, about 70% of hydration. Voila. Now, another step here is so again, a little bit of uh, olive oil, and tap, tap, tap on top. Now you can go ahead and uh, cover the dough with uh, something like this, or with a plastic wrap, or with a towel. So now, let's keep the dough uh, right here and we let it rest for 15 minutes. These 15 minutes will create, will build more strong your gluten. In the meantime, okay guys, 15 minutes pass by and the dough, of course guys, uh, the dough will look like a little bit too sticky. If it's too sticky for you, it's not a big deal and we wanna keep the hydration. So I suggest always to use olive oil. This way the dough uh, will not lose the hydration that we had in the beginning. But if it's a little bit too sticky for you, of course, you can go ahead and add a little bit of flour, a little bit on top, just dump it right there. So now, this is the second step. Now we have to create the dough, the dough balls. So remember, every 100 milligrams of water makes one pizza. So here we, had, we made uh, five, uh, 500 milligrams of water, so that's uh, five pizzas. So voila, this is how you make the dough balls. Just flip it over one time and then look, this is a much, these are all bubble of air. Dough balls weight, it needs to be uh, 250 grams. Let's get a container. If you don't have a container like this, a regular sheet pan, it's fine. So now let's go ahead, let's put the dough balls inside the container. Voila, we have five dough balls. Now well, let's go ahead and let's close it simply and we let it rest at room temperature for two hours. So remember, depends on the room temperature, two hours to, to three hours. If it's cold, it will grow less, less faster. So more it's hot, more will grow. So 
two hours at room temperature. Now let's get ready with uh, with uh, all the ingredients. In the meantime that the dough is resting, let's uh, set up the oven. First of all, you need a pizza stone or a pizza steel. I love to use steel because it gets the oven a little bit more hot and the pizza comes out better. So now let's set up this one at the middle of the oven. Voila, now let's put the stone, pizza steel or the pizza stone in the oven. Let's close it and let's set up the oven at the max temperature. Mini. So you can go at the static or I like to put ventilated at the max temperature. So this oven goes up to 250. We'll put OK. Voila. So now we let it stay for 40 minutes to one hour. This way the stone or the pizza steel will get nice hot. So now let's go ahead and let's make some ingredients. So this is how you make the tomato sauce. How you prepare the tomato sauce. I love this uh, sauce, you can find it everywhere, Muti, it's amazing. Again guys, this is not sponsored from uh, Muti or any kind of sauce brand. So one uh, tablespoon of uh, uh, coffee spoon of uh, salt, olive oil, a little bit of uh, fresh basil, just break it, this way all the smell comes out and it's gonna mix it up with the sauce. Let's mix everything up. Voila, tomato sauce is ready. Now, second ingredient. Now, what I love to use here is uh, some uh, fresh mozzarella, but uh, the a little bit dry mozzarella. So, <laughs> basically, it's perfect for home. A nice uh, scamozza, just like this one. And that's amazing because it's not too wet, it's not too dry. So voila, this is the perfect cut for, uh, for home use pizza. Also for when you have a oven that goes up to temperature, it's good. We choose this cheese because it melts a little bit less than fresh mozzarella. And this cut of cheese is very important. Otherwise, the cheese is gonna burn in the oven. And we don't want to taste the cheese, we don't want the cheese uh, burn. Voila! Let me taste it. Mm. Taste. Lovely. This is the cut of cheese. Now, what important ingredient is the pecorino. Pecorino cheese because it's more uh, flavorful. Just like that. Similar to this one, it's fine. But also, uh, the, the parmesan cheese, the regular parmesan cheese is good too. Now, fresh basil is very important, so I cut a little bit from the, from the plant, and this is what you need. Just cut the leaf like this, simply, put it in a bowl, and then if it's not nice and stand like this, you just put a little bit of water, and the basil will be refreshed. Man, it smells so good. Voila, we have the perfect ingredients to make the classic cheese, the classic margherita pizza. Red, white, and, and green. Okay, guys, uh, the, now we are ready to make the pizzas. So there we go, the dough double up the sides and uh, our oven is also ready. So let's go ahead and use uh, the semolina to stretch the pizza. You want to put it on the plate, this way you don't make a mess. Voila. Now, watch this. Now let's grab one ball. So put the flour, put the flour in the container, like this. You have to have a spatula. Without spatula, it's going to be really difficult to make the pizza. Voila, boom, one shot and dump it inside the container. So now, guys, a couple of times in the flour, just a couple of times, a little bit of flour in the center, a little bit. Now we want to put it upside down, and now we're ready to stretch the pizza. So we want to press all the air to the crust, just like that. Then one more time, press the crust, uh, press the air to the crust. See this? When the, you have a big bubble, you have to just pump it. There we go, press the air, 
to the cross just like that. Then one more time, flip it over. So right hand, you press, left hand, you pull, and then thump it on top. Just like this, follow me. And then when you have the right side, you can go like this or watch this step. Your hands like this, then put the dough on top, take off the flower, then one hand under, just make a little bit larger, and then dump it on the, on the floor. Voila, and let's add the tomato sauce. So, uh, because we are making the pizzas at home, we have to make, we have to pre-cook the pizza only the base, otherwise the pizza is gonna burn. So let's go ahead and take off the flour. Let's get the peel, then pinch it. With the peel, you're gonna go pinch it under, pinch it under, voila. Now, pinch it, finger under, and make it a little bit bigger. We want the pizza 12 inches big, and this peel is 12 inches. So now we are ready to go ahead and give it a pre-cook in the oven. Give it a pre-cook in the oven. Okay, the oven is nice and hot, and we place the pizza on top, just like that, one shot, boom. Now close it and cook it until you get the nice gold color. So this process will take about a few minutes, two or three minutes. Okay guys, the pizza, ooh, is nice gold color. So now it's time to put the other ingredients. Guys, oh my God, take a look of this pizza, boom. Stay tuned and watch until the end, invest your time. So guys, at this point, I have a little trick for you. A little bit of uh, olive oil on, the, on your hands and just like this with your finger, go ahead and uh, just go ahead a little bit on the crust. This will help uh, the crust to be cooked a little bit more faster because the goal here and the, in the home oven is to cook the pizza the fastest that you can. So we're gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So in this case, we are making the classic pizza margherita. So pecorino cheese. I like to add a little bit of basil before also. And then our fresh scamorza. Voila. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Now, a little bit of of uh, olive oil also on top of the, the pizza, also a little bit on top of the extra little foil of basil. So now let's go ahead and let's cook it again. Of course, the oven is uh, set up at uh, a ventilation at the max temperature. Let's go ahead and let's put the pizza in the oven. Ready to go in the oven right away, put it inside the oven and close it right away. So we're gonna cook the pizza until the mozzarella starts to bubbling and it will be ready. Oh my god, wow guys, the mozzarella is start to bubbling and the pizza, whoo, it's lovely, lovely ready. Let me show you, let me show you how it looks like. Oh my god, pizza, it's lovely ready take a look it come out perfect i mean now let's see the test if the test pass we need to see if the pizza is uh, soft and crunchy Shh. Ooh, nice soft and really crunchy but the pizza come out lovely the bottom is nice and cooked i mean what can I say? We have to see the, the, the inside and then we're gonna taste it. Little bit of basil on top, just to make it beautiful, a little bit more flavorful. And a little bit from here. And hold on, we want the perfection. And voila, the classic cheese pizza margherita. It's lovely, ready. Please smash the like. Wow. I have to show
show you the inside because uh, I have to show you the inside. So come with me, come closer. I got the scissors because you have to see, we have to watch how the, this thermo mix, how the pizza, how I made the, the pizza dough. So here is the inside of the crust. And guys, again, this video is not sponsored from the uh, from uh, Thermomix. So this is the crust. Take a look. Fantastic, lovely, soft and crunchy. Just the texture that we want to. Look at this side too. It's perfect. The bottom it's also nice and not really crispy because uh, the more you keep the oven. Uh, the more you keep the stone or the the metal or the steel inside the inside the oven, it will become more hot. So now let's go ahead and let's taste. Mm. Mm. It's lovely. It's cooked. Even probably for the lights, it looks a little bit white, but it's cooked outstanding it's crunchy guys you have to try this at home please comment below and tell me what you think again it's not being sponsored and uh, so this is uh, just to help you if you have uh, this uh, thermal mix so guys hopefully you like this video please share and tag or send this video to the people that have the thermal mix thank you so much and i'll see you at the next one every week new video support and let's get to 1 million subscribers. Thank you so, so much from my studio company. See you in the next one.